All right, guys, so it's with heavy heart that we are announcing the death of Junior Pope. Now, it's sad, but we have to talk about something. We have to talk about accountability in the Nollywood industry. You know, somehow, technology has made it possible for a lot more producers to be in the industry. Now, this is a very good thing because right about now, you don't even need to own the equipment. You can rent the camera, you can rent the light, equipment, sound, everything, props. You could pretty much rent everything at a discounted rate and shoot a movie. Now, this is a good thing if you really think about it because gone are the days that the Nollywood industry was held captive by a very few select producers. Right about now, any young and upcoming videographer can pretty much put a movie together. But the problem that we need to address is that of accountability. Junior Pope, as we all know him, lost his life in River Niger. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's a reckless loss. And I call it reckless because I am sure that everybody knew that he could not swim. I'm sure he mentioned it. That's the first thing that anybody that cannot swim talks about once they get inside water, that they can't swim. So the least that should have been done was to ensure that there was life jackets in that boat. Think about this. And the producer didn't even have to own it. He just had to make sure that Whoever that owned the boat, the captain of the boat, provided those life jackets. Now, if they can't provide it, then work with a different boatman. There's options to this. Nobody's life needs to be lost just from the boat capsizing. Now, we're talking about Junior Pope, but we also have to remember there's other cast and crew members that also lost their life. Come on. We already know it's River Niger. We already know there's a level of risk. You can hear him saying it from day one. It's risky. For anybody that knows River Niger, River Niger is at least a good 100 feet deep. 100 feet deep. Let's imagine that for a second. An average human being is maybe 5 to 6 feet. 100 feet deep. That means that if 10 individuals are standing on top of each other, they will still be all synced inside the river. So why can't something as simple as a life jacket be provided? These are people's lives. An ordinary life jacket would have solved this. But this needs to serve as a big lesson needs to serve as a big lesson for our producers and for the people that they engage to work with them. Accountability starts from the producers because half the time, the people that are riding these boats or doing all these other mediocre jobs at the back, they don't care. So let's put it this way. It's the producer that calls the artist. You call up somebody that's sitting in his house and tell him that, hey, look, I want you to feature in my movie. A deal is struck and you fly the person. Or you put them on a transportation, whichever one, however you get them there. But you see, at those stages, they are not with you yet. When they're at the airport, they are not with you yet. When they are in a transport coming to meet you or the site of the location of the movie, they are not with you yet. But once they join you, it's your responsibility to keep them safe. And there's all these little things that I feel like producers should be doing. And, you know, these are not things that will be too much more expensive, but at least it saves lives. You know, when you get your crew and your cast together shooting a movie, I know you guys do the basics, you know, provide food and water and shelter, you know, but things like security, we don't do enough of that. So this has to be a lesson that everybody needs to learn from. All the 
existing producers, the up and coming producers, everybody has to pay attention to the fact that it's a producer's job to protect the people that they call to work for them. While we are at this topic, we need to talk about something else. The Nollywood industry has grown exponentially. And that's due to the emergence of YouTube. YouTube now being a channel where anybody can gain access free of charge and pretty much upload their movies for people to watch. And instead of people having to buy it, viewership ends up paying the producers back. Hopefully many folds more than they invested. I am very glad that we do have bodies that are currently governing the whole Nollywood entertainment. Every state or most states pretty much have a branch of, you know, the association of producers and association of actors. You know, they, they all have this and that's a good thing. And those guys are doing a great job, you know. But I just feel like on a personal level, we producers have to definitely do a little more. Now, the other thing that I wanted to bring up is the issue of character. Character deformation while acting movies. Now, I know for the most part, people are over 18 and or 21 and they can do whatever they want to do. But the truth is that we need to protect our actors and actresses. As much as we want to tell ourselves that it's just a movie, the truth is that our culture frowns at certain things. I know a lot of producers in a bid to sell or get a lot more viewership tend to try to get producers to do things that are normally out of the norm of our tradition or of our culture and tradition. You know, and I'm talking about things that have to do with explicit sexuality displays, you know, uh, humping, you know, kissing, all these things. You know, I know we're trying to imitate the Western world, but there's a lot of things that the Western world does that we do not do. There is absolutely zero testing, STD testing, prior to the commencement of any movie. I can almost tell you that 99.9% .9 of the producers do not perform any kind of STD test in advance. Now, as you guys know, ordinary kissing can transmit disease. Now, think about this. If every actor and actress goes about kissing everybody on every movie, sooner or later, Everybody is going to have something that they passed on to somebody else or that was passed on to them. And that's not the goal. You see, when we watch these movies, producers should try to use the dark screen. If you get to a scene where it's supposed to be a sex scene, for instance, all you have to do is go black. The viewers already got the point. They don't need to see people humping on beds and, you know, shaking both and naked. Nobody needs that. We already get the point. We already get that, okay, wow, the next thing is them making out. And just give us a black screen. We are good. We are not watching porn. Now, YouTube, if you guys don't know, I've started cracking down a lot on these things. So a lot of things that they used to let slide, no longer let it slide. So once you have any kind of humping, YouTube brings the video down. You know, but why wait for YouTube to do this? Why put people through that risk of contacting STDs for something that you're not even going to get to upload? So I appeal to 
our producers. Viewers do not need to see any kind of humping. They don't need to. You know, and another thing is this. We want to be able to sit down and watch all these movies with our children. You know, we don't want when our kids are about to watch a Hollywood movie, we are worried what they would see. You know, we want to let them watch it because the truth is that these movies are really real life scenarios that are played out in one form or another. People learn from it and that's a good thing. So we want to encourage our kids to instead of watching the Western world movies to watch our Nollywood movies. So we have to keep it clean, totally clean. In that way, when they turn on a movie and be like, let's watch this, you don't have to worry. Are two people going to be humping on the movie or not? You don't need to worry about that because you know that it's clean. And that's the way that we can bring the younger generation into this thing. At the same time, we would save our actresses from the stigma that comes with all these sexual scenes in the movie. Count them. A lot of them get older and older and are married because it's hard for the normal citizen to understand and separate the fact that this is just a movie from this is her reality. It's hard. And it's understandably so because the kisses are not fake, whether it's movie or not. If STDs are going to be transmitted, it's not going to be fake because they are real kisses. Who told you we want to see these kisses? We don't. We just want to know if it's romantic is romantic. Give us a hug. Let them peck. Go black screen. Let our imaginations run for us. There's tons and tons of movies out there that have went millions of views that there were no single kissing whatsoever. So it's not that it's not doable. It's just that we still have that mindset that people like naughty things. The truth is that once you go naughty, you limit the number of people that can watch it. Because instantly you exclude the younger one, the teenagers, the kids, the, you exclude them instantly. And those are a good millions of people. So what's the point? Just because you want to show us something that we're still gonna frown at, the society is still gonna frown at. So guys, you guys are doing a good job. I'm talking about producers here. Um, I happen to be part of them, so I am not gonna exclude myself, but at the same time, you know, I wanna make an open appeal. You know, let's start factoring all these things in. You know, the safety of our actors and actresses, crew members, um, you know, and then the kind of explicit sexuality that we show in the movies. Let's give our young actresses the chance to get married while they are still young, 20 something, you know, let everybody not start running into 30 and 40 before they now start figuring out that they shouldn't still be doing this. You know, because the truth is that, you know, at a point in everybody's life, they start getting that, no, they can't do kissing scenes. They can't do sex scenes. You know, people start getting it later. But when they're still young, in their early 20s, they, they are just under guidance of the producers and script writers. And, you know, they do anything at that time, not understanding the consequences. That it would carry later that's all i have for today guys once again our condolence to the families that lost their loved ones um may god give you guys the fortitude to forge ahead um this is cj from mcnally studios and i'll see you guys on the next clip